you know how cycling clothing is usually thought of as being lycra or spandex and it's got high performance technical fabric to wick your sweat, but at the same time, you would never be caught dead going to the pub or to work wearing it? Well, that whole idea might be changing. Hey everyone, I'm Tom and this is Shifter, a channel about urban cycling, bike commuting, and the ways we get around our cities. If you like this video, please consider hitting that like button or maybe even subscribing. But I know what you're thinking, why would I take fashion advice from a guy who dresses like that? But bear with me for a second. So long-term viewers of this channel know that one of my missions here is to normalize everyday transportation cycling, because I worry that too much of cycling is caught up in athletics and sports and athletic gear. And that's great if you've got a bike and you want to ride for fitness or for a race, absolutely go for it and wear the proper gear. But I think that's sometimes an impediment to using your bike as a transportation option. And so I love to quote Michael Colville Anderson who told me once, urban cycling is about dressing for the destination and not the journey. And for a long time, that's meant choosing your Levi's instead of your Rafa whenever you can. But that might be changing. Over the last few months, a number of brands have reached out to me with their clothing lines that they say are great for cycling. We're talking about clothes that move and stretch and are breathable and have wicking material. But in this case, they also look good. Like you could wear them out to the pub or to the office or even for a night out. And I wanted to test these. But since I know about fashion about as much as I know about black squirrels, which is to say not a lot, I wanted to get some help. Hi, Lori. Hi. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming out. You're welcome. Thanks for doing this today. No, no problem. So this is Lori Andrews. Uh, you might know her as the original Tencent on Instagram. She is a photographer, artist, stylist, bike racer, all those things. Yes. Yes, and she's here to help me out today on looking good on a bike. Uh, before we get started, um, do you have any general tips about looking good when you're riding a bike? Um, number one, I, if, if you're just commuting, um, just wear what makes you feel good, wear, wear what's comfortable, but also uh, be prepared in layers to take layers off. And, and you're gonna wanna consider your fabrics uh, so that you don't get too hot while you're riding. Cause whenever you're pedaling, you're gonna, you're gonna get a little bit warmer. Yeah, I find I think the biggest challenges are that. So breathability, I think, is important. Yeah. And also, like, you're leaning in weird ways sometimes. On yeah, a, a little bit of stretch helps. Yeah, a little yeah. bit of stretch. Or even different cuts, I think, help yeah. sometimes, too. Oh, right? baggy, baggy sweatshirt yeah. does. <laughs> so today, we're, you're going to be styling me yes. uh, as a man. <laughs> yes. But um, you ride as a woman. I uh, do. Do you have any tips for women about looking good on a bike? Right. Um, again, I think you should just wear what makes you happy, what makes you comfortable. However, when I'm riding a bike, I have a tendency to, to choose fabrics that will uh, move with me, but I also want to choose things that um, stay in place while I'm on the bike. So I like to wear mini skirts, but if I'm riding my commuter bike, I'll make sure it has the little shorts attached. So a skirt is better than just a skirt for me personally. Um, I wouldn't recommend wearing a long skirt because it might get caught up in your bike somehow, but anything else goes. You can wear heels, though I would recommend wearing a wedge. Um, yeah, just wear, wear whatever you normally would wear, honestly. And so we'll be trying out a few brands today, and we're lucky enough to be here at Kit Nace. Kit Nace is a Canadian brand that offers everyday essentials. Uh, they're good quality, they're gonna last a long time, but they're also built for commuters. They literally have uh, brands that are called commuters, and so it'll be a really nice combination to be able to look good, but also stretch. And you turned me on to Kit Nace. You've, yeah. Yeah, I don't know yeah. them well, but you've been Well, they're before. a favorite. I've been, I've been shopping here for years. Um, they're really, really great for daily commuting. I, I buy their shirts for my husband. I bought myself tons of good from the store. Um, everything's really good quality and it lasts a long time, washes up really well, doesn't wrinkle. All right, well, good choice. Okay, yeah. let's go get started. Okay, so to get started, I just wore like the Tom uniform. This yes. is just things I wear all of the time. Uh -huh. And, you know, I don't think a lot about fashion. I probably should think about it more. So I'm thinking maybe the first thing is just like, can we elevate the Tom uniform? Sure, sure we can. Like, I think the jacket is good. I like the jacket. Um, I feel we'll, we'll talk about the shirt later, but <laughs> but I think I think that particular pair of denim is is a little bit worn. So we're we're going to take you out of denim, and that's how we're going to elevate you. All right, okay. sounds good. And by the way, I'm wearing these shoes for every look today. Okay, okay, we'll go to <laughs> we'll go somewhere else and talk about that too. Shoes is the next video. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, here is the level one upgrade. Yeah, it's good. I mean, I really like those pants on you. It's just pants. These are. 
uh, a pair of doers. I, I know doer, I wear them quite a bit. They're very stretchy, soft fabric. I like them quite a bit. How do they look fashion wise? Um, I think you look a lot more put together in in 20 seconds <laughs> yes. than you looked in the in the denim, which is which probably needs to be recycled. Yes. Along with this shirt, maybe. Did yeah. I, I was getting like vibes from you that maybe yeah. I should retire. It's this not shirt. my favorite. <laughs> okay, but, but this shows just uh, one little upgrade can make a difference, and we'll see how stretchy these like doers are stretchy. So I'm going to go for a ride now. Yeah. We'll see how they do. Yeah. Okay. Um. Wait. Can I? What is this? pocket. Tell me about that pocket. Oh, I didn't even notice. Oh, is that a phone pocket? It's a phone pocket. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Oh, this is why yeah. you're a stylist. That's you know very, very things. helpful. You yes. So your phone could fit in there. Yes. Again, phones, sometimes phones fall out of your pockets if the pockets aren't designed right. So this could they be helpful. They always fall out of your they pockets. They always fall out of your pockets, <laughs> yes. yes. Great. Oh, good call. Okay, okay, we'll try it out. Okay. Look at me lunging. <laughs> look at me, look at my leg movement. Nice, nice. Yeah, <laughs> it makes no. a difference. It feels good. Good, good. They look good. Yeah, so they look good and they're stretchy. Yeah. Okay, we're, I think we are off to a good start. Let's keep going. Okay. Okay, we're into the sweaters now. What yeah. do you think? It looks good. It's a, yeah. it's a great fall look. It yeah. looks really nice. That's a, that's a merino wool sweater. It's a merino wool, so yeah. it's great for any activity, like on a bike, it'll breathe, but also will keep you warm. Yeah. Merino's the best for that yeah. kind of thing. And you so can really tell nice. this is like a really quality sweater. Like Kit Nace does like timeless quality stuff. So. Yeah, I think that's important to buy one good solid quality yeah. piece instead of like buying new ones every three or four months or something like that. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, fast fashion. That's, that's not what we're going for here. We're going for something that you can wear on the bike um, to work, uh, to, to events for years. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. So, like, and their stuff washes well, so I think you'd be really happy with it. But tell me about these pants. Yeah, so these pants are from Ministry of Supply. And so again, they're a bit technical in the material, so it's breathable and stretchable, but it doesn't feel technical. And it doesn't look technical either, right? No. It looks a, it looks a little bit more casual. No, so yeah. so you were saying that somebody's run a marathon in these yeah, pants. Yeah, I think the, the CEO of the company set the record for fastest marathon in a suit. And it said, oh, he wore the full suit. He wore the full suit okay. of this material okay. and ran the marathon. Yeah. Who knew that was a record? Well, well, I didn't know that either, but I don't think you're a suit guy, to be honest. So no. just having yeah. just having these slacks is really nice. So yeah. yeah. And so if he can run a marathon, I'm sure I can go around the block. Let's give yeah. it, we'll give it a try. Okay. Okay. Oh. Well, that was good. Good. It's the sweater feels amazing. It's warm but breathable. But it's uh, about what is it like 10, 10 12 degrees? Today. 10 degrees How's Celsius. It feel? Whatever that is in Fahrenheit. Yeah. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it feels good. You could, I could ride this to work 10 kilometers, you know, for half an hour and be fine. And I think you might get a little hot, but the nice thing about Merino is that it breathes. It so breathes really. It's pretty good. Really, and these really pants really well. are good too. Yeah. Totally okay. stretchy, totally movable, and they're a bit loose on me. So that actually. Uh, does have some room to breathe a little bit baggy as well. Pants so. are in. And baggy, baggy pants, pants are, in. are the way to go. No more <laughs> tight jeans. Yay, finally. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Okay. okay, let's move on. Okay. Well, hello. Wow, this feels like me. Yeah, it looks like you. <laughs> yes. I mean, this is this is like super comfortable the way you like it. Stylish, though. You know, it's a little bit elevated from your regular, yes, that's your normal true. <laughs> Tom stuff. So I like it. Um, this is stretchy as yep. well. It's a, it's a mix. This is kit nice. Yeah. Uh, it's got the two-way stretch, so you can feel it even when you're just walking around. It feels yeah. good. Yeah. This is nice and warm, but uh, still breathable, so I think I'll be able to um, not get it turned into a sweaty mess on my way. Yeah, especially because it's just a vest, right? You yeah. wear a vest. Yeah. Yeah. So. And, and the these are these are, are these are pants from Ornot, uh, which is actually mm -hmm. a cycling brand, which is moved into casual wear. Usually it's the other way around. Right. But so these are like really sort of stretchy. They're a bit. The material's a bit different. They're sort of like a bit more high tech. Um, and so the feel is a bit different, but they're still pretty stretchy. Yeah, this is a good look on you. Yeah. Like, good, good, good look for the office. Yeah, I think yeah. so. And these pants look don't look like they are made by a cycling kit company. No, they don't. Not at yeah. all. No, they, and they and they don't look like they're a technical fabric. They look like they're 100% yeah. cotton, but they're not. Oh. So okay. that's great. Let's go test it out. Okay. Okay.
Well, this one was just easy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It felt I, good. I, I feel like this is something you would wear anyhow, only now it's now it's technical. Yeah. Yeah. And one thing is like with a vest, it's nice is you get a bit of flow. You get yeah. a bit of air in there, especially as the weather gets colder. People think you get cold on a bike, but you get hot. Yeah. And so like having a bit of airflow really helps. So yeah. the vest is a nice touch. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Well, I, I say this is a winner. It's a winner. Okay. All right. Let's move on. Okay. Here we go. The okay. final look. It looks good. <laughs> it looks good. It feels good. I think I think you could definitely go out in this and uh, and ride your bike there and end up end up at the at the location without um, being a sweaty mess. Yeah, I think so. I think there's this impression that you can't look really good when you're on a bike, especially with a jacket. I think sometimes. Yeah. But this feels pretty good. It's this is the Kitnay's commuter jacket and the commuter pants, and then we have their slim fit shirt on you. Yeah. And all of these uh, all these options are really really great on your bike. They're they're meant for commuting. Um, they're going to move with you. Uh, the pant even has like a slightly elevated uh, back waist, so so right. that if you're bent over on your bike at all, uh, you don't have that little gap There's showing. No, that's yeah. a nice way of saying it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And and um, everything washes up really really nicely, and it's wrinkle free. Yes. Okay. Well, we're going to put this to the test. I'm going to go for a ride. Okay. Look at me stretch. <laughs> you did good. This feels good. Yeah? Yeah. Like sometimes when you're wearing a jacket and you're reaching for your handlebars, you can feel it. In the shoulders. Yeah. And, yeah. You, can, and you can feel the tension on it, but it just stretches so yeah, nicely. Yeah, no, that, that, that fits you really well. It's so. really good, yeah. yeah. So it feels great. No, this is your formal outfit. This We're going to go with it. Yes. I like it. I can go out tonight. Yes. Okay, great. <laughs> well, we did it. We did. You did the impossible. You made me look good. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't do that. You did that. Uh, so what do you think we learned today? Um, I think we learned that having some more technical fabrics with a bit more stretch is helpful on a bike, and you um, you can elevate your wardrobe, you know, with a few new pieces pretty easily. Yeah, I think that's right. I think you don't need anything special on your bike. You can ride wearing whatever you've got, but we're lucky enough that these brands are now making these clothes that just make it a little bit easier. Yeah, it's easier, but also keep in mind that if you purchase something like. Um, that's a technical fabric or a merino wool, um, those quality fabrics are going to last longer. So the investment you make could pay off because you're going to have it for years, right? Yeah, so. yeah, absolutely. And you get out of that fast fashion yes. cycle, which yes. helps as well. Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much. That was thank a lot you. of fun. And I uh, hope you, I learned a lot today. So thank you. I uh, hope you guys got something out of it too. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. See you.